So I've been doing some uh, modification of my 100 watt LED hardware and uh, where we are with this now is um, I've put the main heatsink for the LED directly flat on the back of the front face of the aluminium and um, that's because all the heat from the LED needs to pass uh, through the aluminium quickly to get into the heatsink block so that it can radiate away from the fins. Now originally I had the heatsink under under this bottom section here but it meant that the heat from the LED was having to go round this L-shaped corner which is a bit like putting uh, a waterfall through a letterbox and uh, the LED, is, I mean it gets extremely hot, it's still getting extremely hot. Um, another thing I did was uh, I noticed these two holes in the top of the power converter unit so I've mounted it onto the bottom of the angle bracket so this is now one complete self-contained unit. So let's plug it in and have a look at it. So I've got a uh, big car battery here and uh, now that the uh, power unit's mounted on the top I just need to get the connector and plug it in like that so it's quite convenient and then I'll hook up the, uh, the black and red terminals here and there goes the LED and it's uh, <laughs> it's very bright it's just dazzled me actually I can't see what I'm doing there so it doesn't look like much uh, during the day but at night it's uh, it's pretty bright now I've applied lots of um, heatsink paste heatsink thermal grease uh, between the LED and the metal plate that it's mounted on and then again between the metal plate and the aluminium heatsink there because you don't want uh, areas where metal is not in contact with metal you want the grease to fill in all those gaps the grease isn't as um, thermally transmissive as the metal but it's better than an air pocket so uh, you need to heavily grease this thing up and it still does get very very hot now of course um, there's no optical equipment on this LED so it just projects the light forwards in sort of a, a, a half sphere um, light travels you know in 180 degrees all around in all directions and that's why I've bought this unit um, I don't mind name dropping where I got it Sure Electronics they're very good for uh, LED stuff this is a reflector and a lens and a cap and I'll show you how it's going to work so the reflector fits on the LED like that there are these two holes here and these two holes here and the reflector locates in those holes should do anyway yeah there we go and then the lens sits on top of there so all the light will be thrown forwards and then focused by the lens and then the uh, retaining cap sits on top like that now I've just noticed that these holes don't line up with the mounting holes for the LED so I'm going to have to uh, drill some more holes in my aluminium heatsink but I think when that's uh, fitted on there permanently that's going to be one heck of a bright directional LED light so just while this thing's sitting in this orientation I might as well put the power on let's see what we get okay well it's hard to tell but there's the light on my hand and it feels warm, very warm so uh, that'll be fun to try when it gets dark 